hear we are in can a, you please tell us about that it's called karaoke, karaoke knockout <laughs> if you go to was it karaoke co dot dot org backslash jim jeff you can vote for us it's a free vote. free vote if you do it off your phone uh it'll say you can vote for have one vote and it says uh we enter will, your card but if you go farther down you can get a free vote using Facebook. Yeah, verify it with Facebook. And yeah. right now we're just vote. They're doing the votes. So we have no idea what's coming on. But we're number one. Or we were. And number wow. one. Wow. Oh, good. Number one. And anyway, well, we're going to share the link and we'll we'll absolutely. share the link in the podcast and in our, our yeah. can uh, we, pages can we do a as well. Song for you? We would love it. Go ahead. Friends in all places? No. Yeah. No. That's a moral? Yeah. In Napoli, where love is king, when boy meets girl, here's what they sing. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a more. That's a more. When the moon seems to shine like you had too much wine, that's a more. That's a more. Bells will ring, ting a ling a ling, ting a ling a ling, and you'll sing Vita Bella. Hearts will play tippy tippy tay, tippy tippy tay, like a gay tarantella. Lucky Bella. Excuse of me, but you be back in old Napoli. That's amore, amore, amore. Excellent. That was wonderful. Excellent. We love this part. That was great. Are you okay? I remember the video that you guys did, and I know it touched a lot of people. You guys sang a Garth Brooks song, I think, when you guys closed the restaurant and said yeah. goodbye. And that was kind of a, you got a really good uh, uh, feedback from that. It must be very, very, you know, fulfilling and make you feel good that so many people around the world, you know, fell in love with you guys and just really appreciated your, your personalities, your hard work and just well, it, your success. People it, were really it, pulling for you. It was amazing for all the people that came in, I mean, people would come on their vacation and say, hi, are, how are you? And it's like, we start talking about this. Oh yeah, we're on vacation. I, they oh, said, yeah, well, this yeah. is, we came here just, just to come see you. <laughs> yeah. We, wow. we, did, we keep in touch with a couple, uh, a family that was from Scotland, from they, Scotland. They, uh, we keep in touch on Facebook with them. And there were people from Ireland and, wow. uh, other all over the world you guys were yeah. famous it was all really over famous. the world it's like we're going and it's just amazing and still to this day people remember us they'll come up and go hey aren't you the guys that were i go yeah they go wow yeah they so, still remember that oh you weren't going ramsey it's like yep yeah, we were and it was uh it's it's really neat that the people remember who we were, we were or I, are who we i are. miss the business I miss being in, uh, I'll tell you, just talking to the customers. And unfortunately, mm. nowadays, the pizza industry is going in a different direction. Most yeah. people, they're going into what I call the boutique subway kind of mm. where, okay, you're in line and you go, I want to get the sourdough crust and I want the red sauce and then I want yeah. this cheese mm -hmm. and I want that. And then it's like. And it's not, you don't get to know your customers. No, it's, a, it's, it's not personal. No, no. And, and basically brick and mortar places, which is a, a, a building or whatever. It's, it's getting hard to do that because of the raising and in inflation and then also wages, wages. And you know, the, what the top thing for all businesses right now are wages. And yeah. in the industry, the second is. <laughs> cheese and it depends on you know how the economy is doing and what people are charging for everything and you know we got out just before COVID, so we didn't have to deal with 
you know, people trying to deliver food and stuff. Oh, that been, was crazy. Uh, that was. But the Capri is still there, by the way. Yes. Oh, that was. I was going to ask. It's under a new name, right? No, it's still the same. The Capri uh, Aperitivo Bar. There you go. Okay. Yeah. We actually went there. Oh wow! It, they have great drinks. Uh, Mom recommends the frozen Negroni. <laughs> <laughs> it was great. <laughs> and, um, Never had the espresso martini, but you know they have a shrine set up for the uh, of the Capri. And how, you know, from the predecessors. The predecessors. Oh. Jeff, and yeah. Now, and then us. And now mm -hmm. what they're doing with it. And it's like, it's totally different. You wouldn't recognize it if you go there because they they put a bar in. Yeah. yeah I yeah. saw some pictures uh, of it. It's so different. Yeah. And they opened up. It, it, they did a great <clears throat> job. I, I must. Well, the one thing I liked is the window, the big front window in yep. the front. Now they can open it. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, being in LA, the temperature doesn't Gets get that. pretty hot. You could just open up the the windows and let the breeze come in, and yeah. now it just yeah, you wouldn't need a uh, you wouldn't need a air big conditioner. Air, yeah. yeah, appetizer. Two quick questions. I'm gonna let Florence take over. If Gordon Ramsay was here right now, what would you say? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. And then um, ask how he's doing. Yeah, and how his family's doing. His yeah, see how his twins are doing. Ask him if they're driving him crazy like we drove mom and dad crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and then, well, it, 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 his next it, was, it, was, uh, it was a good experience. It really was. I mean, at first, it didn't feel good, but it, it was the right thing to do. For sure. For sure, it was yeah. great. Now, what do you want to say to your fans all over the country that have really fallen in love with you guys? What What would you like to say to them for this incredible journey you've been on? Uh, thank you for being our fans, and yeah. we appreciate all the, you know, all the fanship and you know friendship and stuff that we've gotten out of it. I miss it greatly. Um. Jeff keeps up with Facebook more than I do. And also the other ones I look into, you know, and people are still saying, hey, I saw your your episode, and yeah. I think you guys are great. And I, you know, some will I reply where I'll say, um, sorry, we missed, we would love to go to your place. I said, sorry, we're closed and yeah. stuff. But, you know, mm. it's, just, it's just, we love, we loved what we did. I mean, you know. Unfortunately, we put everything in it, not just us, but our money and our savings. And that's why we're living with mom and dad now. Yeah, the mom. <laughs> mom. And, well, but, uh, I miss it a lot. I, I miss our fans and our friends. Yeah. Mm. It's amazing how, how alone you are until you uh, get out of a business like the Capri. And yeah. that's being honest, because I miss the camaraderie we had there. Yeah, and the people, you could talk to them, and you could poke fun at things that they liked, and they'd poke fun at things that you liked, and it, it was it was fun. It wasn't it wasn't in bad bad taste or anything like that. And um, well, it was a different time. You could make fun of people and stuff, and not yeah. worry about yeah. You hurt my feelings. It's like, come on. You can't get canceled. You have to be, you know, politically. Yeah, people gotta lighten stuff. up. Enjoy. Yeah. If you don't like something, don't watch it. We if really you appreciate this. Go look us up. Yeah, look us up. Def definitely. We will. We're gonna share their Facebook page and also please don't forget to vote. We're gonna put all that information there. You don't have to pay anything, just go to the put in with your Facebook, click on one vote for free. And you could do that. And please it, it uh, support these guys. They've given a lot to a lot of people. And they're our favorite uh, people from Kitchen Nightmares. Uh, other than Ramsey, 
Uh, yeah. but, uh, <laughs> but he's got enough, uh, he's got a big enough head. He can, he's, <laughs> he's, he's got enough love. So we want to give you a lot of love and a lot of support because you guys really did. You were something special on that. And also you guys were so successful for a long time. It wasn't yeah. just, you were one and done and that was it. it you guys really, minutes. so yeah. never think you failed. It just kind of ran out of time. And, uh, Bye. that's the nature of the beast. That was one thing I didn't understand. People would go on Kitchen Nightmares, and then they would change it back to where they they were before. And I'm thinking, well, why would you go through this mm. this thing just to get the publicity? It was I wouldn't, you know. I mean, like, I if I had to, I would do it again only because I needed to. But otherwise, it it, it rips you, rips the inside out of you. Yeah, I mean, rips it the really, inside out of you, and mm. you know, people. My favorite comment was, don't take it it personal. It's only a business. And I look at them, I go, well, the problem is, it's my business. Mm -hmm. yeah. and it's, it is personal. It's, and our, and, it's our baby. And, it was, and the way... The way he goes about it is a little, <laughs> little more aggressive than most consultants would. But yeah. uh, ag again, you guys, I think what going back to your statement saying, why would people go back? I think you are right because some restaurants that I've studied literally said there was nothing wrong with our restaurant. We did this for PR. Mm -hmm. And yep. this is one thing that's interesting. Every restaurant said they had great food. And some yeah, really yeah. had bad food. Some had okay food. Where did you guys fit? Do you just think we you just didn't know what was going on and your food was great? How did you guys I, think? I, I, I thought, thought our, our food, food was, was good. good. Yeah, yeah, it was great. good. It was great. And in fact, we bought, brought back the Colossal, a mm -hmm. pizza that Gordon Ramsay said, what? Oh, I remember. Yes, yes, I remember. <laughs> That's the only pasta I like. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of good. Maybe I'm happy, but no. Me um, too. We would bring back some of the items that we used to have, but Gordon Ramsay knew one thing. He says, "Keep it simple." Yeah, and you know, keep it fresh, and we learned from that. That was one thing we learned: is like you know, if you're not using fresh ingredients, it's not going to work. And yep. you know, like my perfect example is you know, with our Hawaiian pizza. I would mm. never eat a Hawaiian pizza unless it was like that because I love the sp spicy, hot, sweet. Those meatball sliders looked great. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, they are. They are. And, you know, we mm -hmm. made um, – we actually made some meatballs up here. We made meatballs and pizza dough. Yep, just to, to, to do it. And I almost bought one of those little pizza ovens that you oh, could do, yeah. do outside. And it's like – I don't know. It seems a lot of <laughs> <laughs> a lot of money for a pizza. Yeah, 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 some are, yeah they're but expensive. We, so uh, we might still do it. Yeah, Just, there might be a little lingering, like someone might want us to, you know, hey, we're having a party. You want to make pizzas for us? Well, maybe we can do that now. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we could have a live show of you guys making pizza dough. Yeah, and making a pizza. I think that would be really cool. So much fun. <laughs> well, we'll have to talk to mom to see if she'll let us mess up the kitchen that bad. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I think mom will say, mom will say you have to clean up after yes. so she oh, doesn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> right. Cleaning is not a four letter word, guys. Come uh -huh. on. <laughs> And we wanted what? to end the show to we wanted to end the show in a really celebratory uh your your father passed away in the last uh uh couple of years and we wanted to make sure that we give him a shout out cuz he seemed like he was real a good guy and a good part of your life and we yeah. wanted to give him a great uh a kind of a clap and and just let people realize that you did have a really good mom and dad and your mom's still kicking doing great and yeah. it's just a real good. It, I, I, why don't you talk about your dad for a minute? Dad was the kind of dad that I think anyone would want. He um, he's what you would call old school. He was a college textbook salesman, and he 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 would let us do the things we wanted to do. Yeah, and he would say, "Well, are you sure you want to do this?" And it's like. Okay, and it's like at one time I wanted to go into um 
biology or chemistry. And he says, are you sure you want to do that? Because you'd be spending a lot of time in a lab by yourself. So <laughs> I, changed, I changed my mind right away. But here's another example. I was playing rugby and my team, Pastina, came up to play Kern. Bakersfield. Uh, in Bakersfield. Bakersfield, basically, but they call it Kern. And mm -hmm. I'm playing in the B-side game, and I volunteer to go play wing, and I get creamed. I mean, literally, it was a clean hit, but I just get wham! And um, I couldn't get up, couldn't breathe or whatever for a while. I mean, I, you know how I get gasping for air and stuff? Sure. I'm on the other sideline of the Kern side. They say, stay down, take a minute, take a minute. Here, have some water. Some of the guys, do you want a beer? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, luckily, mom and dad had come to watch the match. And the dog had started barking, so mom was not looking. And <laughs> the only comment dad made after the game match was, um, now you know why you don't volunteer. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> but no, he, they were, mom and dad are always behind whatever we do and, you know, acting, you know, either actually the best story about our acting and dad was, um, Murphy Brown, the first episode of Murphy Brown we did, we, uh, there was a break and we're talking with Murphy Brown and stuff and we go, well, our mom and dad are here. You go, your dad's here? I go, yeah, yeah. You say, come on, come on, show me where he's at. So we broke, you know, walked into the crowd, and he shook, she, uh, Candace Bergen shook dad's hand and said, you know, you have great boys or whatever. Oh, right? wow. Wow, that's nice. Yeah. Very nice. And, you know, it's, uh, you know, it just shows in that, and they were always there for us. Mom and dad would do anything for us. Except take us to China. <laughs> um, <laughs> or Australia. But no, um, they uh, did all they could for us. And, you know, even after we failed at the business and had nowhere to go, they took us back in. Yeah. I mean, you know, they're set in their ways and they run a, a small income and they still took us in and said, no, <laughs> your family. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I and come from the same type of family, and it's wonderful. So does James when family is there for you. That's, yeah, it's, yeah. There's nothing better. There's nothing better in life. They support you, and you know, having they, a wonderful family. They would never push us when we were in high school or college, or another thing in college when we were playing football. We played college, Division three football at Ripon College in Wisconsin. We got to see why it's in Wisconsin. Wow. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. <laughs> and um, mom won't get mad because she's a cheese head. She was, she's oh. from Oh, home. okay. <laughs> but anyways, dad would come to every single football game. Football game. Wow. And he would fly because we lived in Massachusetts. Massachusetts. He would fly out of Providence, mm -hmm. fly into Chicago, drive up, come see us. Then at the end of the weekend, go back down and fly to like Florida or whatever. And they would go, oh. Wow. They'd go, well, why did even his bosses would go, well, how come you're flying in to Chicago? He said, better, better, uh, less, it costs less. On a <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for but, sharing those stories. Again, there's nothing better than having a good. Good support, good yeah, family. Yeah. Love your well, parents. guys, and absolutely. Well, guys, thank you so so much for doing this. This was amazing. This was wonderful. We've waited a long time to have you on. I know. So thank, thank you so know. much. Yeah, and who knows? Maybe we can get that pizza thing going. Well, I everyone, think it's. Oh yeah, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much. You guys take care. Thank you all. We'll give all the links in our yes. account and please support these two because we, we, oh, they, cool. they are so awesome. And vote for them. Vote, vote for their karaoke vote, vote. on Facebook. Yeah. So yeah. everyone take care. We'll see you later. 
And we'll see you next time. Thank you.